Why, if it isn't good, oh, y'all give me some. Hey, so I see you've had something to the menu. Yep, I call it the Crushing Chazu Challenge. It's a supersized ramen with no leftovers allowed. So, would you mind lending me a hand? Rather, your taste buds. Yep. Well, you've treated me good for so long. Plus, you're offering me free food. That's an offer I definitely can't refuse. <laughs> Wonderful. Then it's settled. What I will do is put some of the dishes I'm going to serve inside your office fridge. How to chill? Is she your girlfriend or something? Ah, I wish. Her name's Miharu Shima, and she started as a part-timer here pretty recently. Unfortunately, she sees me as just another co-worker. She's totally my type, too. I do get where you're coming from, but I think you should put your job first. That's what pays the bills, right? Hmm? Really? Never would have guessed. I'm sure you at least have a boyfriend, right? Nope. But if you know any good candidates, tell them I'm accepting applications. I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding a good guy. Unless you're the type who has crazy high expectations. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm not that picky. friend quests here and so far we're doing one there are definitely some that you don't need to pay money for why is that door flashing oh well, welcome back Yagami-san hey there Miharu-chan ready to be seated please follow me oh yeah how's it going with that co-worker you mentioned that one time um... it's going I guess we do talk whenever we're on the same shift Nothing's moved beyond that, huh? No, but at least we have fun talking. He seems genuinely interested in me, and says some pretty funny stuff. Okay, have you guys, like, gone out anywhere? Mm. No, nope, not yet. I see, I see. So if he was to ask you out, let's say, what would be your ideal time together? You mean on a date? I guess a normal one would be fine. Define normal. Mm. Okay, how about going to look at dolphins at the aquarium? Oh. You like dolphins, huh? They are cute. Hi. Aren't they? They have these sparkly little eyes and adorable little flippers. I could just die from the cuteness. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone really likes some marine mammals. All I'm trying to say is it'd be nice to go to an aquarium with a guy I really like. Dolphins or not? Well, I have a funny feeling you'll be, ve you'll be able to very soon. Call me psychic or whatever. <laughs> You're joking, right? Don't say such random things. <laughs> nah, I'm totally serious. Honestly? I hope your prediction comes true, Yagami-san. Thanks for the meal, Miharu-chan. See ya. Thank you for coming, Yagami-san. Whoops. Dead. Welcome back, Yagami-san. Working hard, Norimoto-kun? I'll have the usual. Of course, please. Right this way. So, Norimoto-kun. Discover Mihon-chan's dream jade. And? She says she wants to go see dolphins at the aquarium. Oh, I'll show her a dolphin, all right. I, I mean, yeah, I'll go buy some aquarium tickets and ask her right away. You're the man, Yagami-san. Hey. hey, if the date goes well, you should tell her how you feel at the end. Yeah. What? Don't act so surprised. If you made it this far, you might as well share your feelings with her, right? But what if she rejects me? You can't just go in there thinking about rejection. Show her the real Norimoto-kun, a man that truly cares. Okay, I'll do my best. 
come on, what kind of response is that? Show some enthusiasm. And make sure you ask her on that date. Fine. Yes, sir. Found by a romantic, heartfelt confession. You got all that? I'll do the best I can. Oh, and before I start daydreaming about all this, I'll be happy to comp your order. Gotta pay my dues. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't have to do all that. Just focus on doing your best. Right. Even though I'm so nervous. Anyway, thank you again for coming in. And for the advice. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Sorry, uh, give me a second. Yagmi-san, guess what? Hey. Well, hey, Miharu-chan. What's going on? Okay, okay. Let me show you your seat first, and I'll tell you all about it. Yagami-san. All right, Yagami-san, check this out. Hmm? Commence checking. Just like you predicted, I got invited to the aquarium. <laughs> Told you. So who's the lucky guy? Actually, it was Noyamoto-kun. Can you believe it? Amazing. What a coincidence. We were talking in the back, and all of a sudden he told me he happened to get some aquarium tickets. Isn't that crazy? You did well, Noyamoto-kun. You're on the blessed path. Yeah, it's your aquarium dream come true. Enjoy that day. <laughs> oh, it's nothing like that. We're just going as friends. The two of you? An aquarium? All by ourselves? Sounds like a day to me. Well, when you put it like that... Jeez, now I'm getting all nervous. What should I wear? <laughs> hey, now, I was just teasing. Don't think too hard about it. Just be yourself and focus on having a good time. Yeah, you're right. That's good advice. Now the last one's probably going to be them together. Thanks for the meal, Miharu-chan. Hope you enjoy the aquarium. Thank you! These friend events are actually kind of interesting. When I saw that there was so much I had to do with the friend events, I was kind of like, ugh. Hey, as long as I don't have to do any hostess shit, okay? And the friend thing in Yagers of Six was interesting, so... Yagami-san! Yagami-san! Good to see you, my dude! Well, someone's in a good mood. Oh, and you know what to get me? You bet! Here, let me get you to a table. You seem pretty excited about something. Wait, could it be? <laughs> it is! Thanks to your advice, I'm finally in a relationship with Miharu-chan! Get out of here! You being for real right now? <laughs> Looks like my catchphrase caught on! <laughs> well, that was intentional. In any case, it feels like I'm walking on air right now. Make sure you take good care of Miharu-chan, alright? Of course! I'll make her the happiest world in the... Happiest world in the girl? <laughs> <laughs> She's got you so excited that you're mixing up your words. You want her to calm down, you know. <laughs> For real. Thank you so much, Yakumi-san. It's on me today. Hey, thank you. I'll be back again. From now on, I'll let you in on a little secret. Mm -hmm. Oh? There's a secret employee menu that only we get to order from. But I'll let you order off at low key. It's got all the best stuff. Sounds awesome. I'll have to try that out sometime. Definitely. But well, I look forward to serving you again. Alright, now we go outside and hear about Miharu-chan's version of it. Oh dear, who put that there? Silly me. Yagami-san! Welcome! What's up? Wow, Miharu-chan. You look like you won the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, follow me and I'll tell you all about it. Hmm? So, what's the big news? I'm assuming something good happened. Well, yes! See, Norimitra-kun and I are officially together now. Mission accomplished. Good going, Norimoto-kun. Now act surprised. Huh? Wow! You serious? Hi. I am. On our way home from the aquarium, Norimoto-kun confessed his true feelings. Miharu-chan, he said, I see you as more than just a part-time co-worker. I see you as 
My full-time woman. <laughs> that's... That's great. <laughs> you know, Yagami-san, it's almost like you're a Cupid or something. Mm -hmm. What makes you say that? Because every time I told you about my love life, it happened exactly the way you said. And now I have a wonderful boyfriend. Maybe it's all just a wonderful string of coincidences. You really think so? Hmm. Either way, I'm so glad to have met you, Yagami-san. I hope you'll always be a regular. Yeah. You bet. Thanks for the meal, Miharu-chan. Best of luck to you and the new boyfriend. Thank you! This is quite a cute story. Alright now. Glad that place didn't need to siphon money from me. What's next? I forgot I'm still on low health because of that. Um... Yeah, we're gonna go over here now. Let's see. Do I have anything in special that fucking matters? Oh right, I do want the sweet fridge to carry more items. You gotta have the max amount of items. I've heard the whole smoking thing is actually fucking worthless. But it already looks so hard to charge up heat. What What did you just- Sir? 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 What did I just hear you say as I walked in the store? Something about boobs? Yeah, you better run. What the fu- Why'd that guy talk like that? He's like, Anyway, I'm just gonna buy this. Stuff. Back to it. Mm. Hey, that was delicious. No more. Thanks, I noticed you've been here a couple times. Yeah, I try to swing by every so often. You are short. No more. Cool. I'm Hayuzu, by the way. Hayuzu. Uh, let's try and find this guy's name and the thing right quick. Hayuzu. Yuzu, Yuzu. Where are you in the friend list? There he is. You got yourself a name, partner? You can call me Yagami. Yagami san. Yagami san, huh? Okay. So I'm new here in Japan. Mm -hmm. Ah. You just arrived or something? Actually, I've been here for a while now, but it's still all new to me. That makes sense. It does take time to adjust. Especially when you're riding the hard downtown. Hey. You got that right. Never thought I'd end up in here in the of all places. I started off listening to jobs I could. Next thing I knew, I ended up here. Mastering the language that moved my heart. But I still have a long road ahead of me. Well, I think you're doing just fine. Take it one step at a time, and I'm sure you'll be alright. Good luck, Zoo. Thank you very much. Please come again. Run outside for a minute. Far enough. Oop. Just eat there again, of course. Miso soup. Back to it. Mmm, that was good. Thanks. Glad to see you came by. You're Zoo, right? We met the other day. Getting used to Japan yet? Mm. Um, yes and no. To be honest, I'm finding that Kamurocho is kind of dangerous. I hate to say it, but around these parts, it is. Welcome to the jungle. Mm. You know what? A woman got shot in the city just the other day. 
Oh, that sort of stuff only happens once in a blue moon. You'll be okay. I know. Danger won't stop me from liking Japan any less. Though I should probably mention, people do tend to get a bit punchy around here. It happens on the regular. What do you mean, punchy? Oh, that just means people get into fights all the time. People fight here all the time? That's not good. My advice? If you're about to get dragged into something shady, just book it. Oh, and thank you for the meal. Okay then, I'll do that. Hope to see you again. You know, I like how Greg Chun, the voice of Yagami, he's he's in Camarocho. And we get into a lot of fights in Camarocho. And he's also the English voice of Kunio uh, in River City Girls. Like, bro, he he's he just be in places where people be punching. Hmm? Hmm? Did something happen just now? Yeah, got my son. Oh, our regular. I got punchy. Are you okay? Calm down. Tell me what happened. Had no money. Just booked it. Hmm. I know exactly. Uh, what do you mean? All I understood was regular punchy had no money and booked it. What's you trying to say here? Someone ate and then booked. Yeah, someone ate and then booked it. Wait a minute. A regular who had no money got punchy and decided to book it. Are you saying that a regular customer got violent with you because you refused to pay the bill, then took off? Yes, that guy who just ran outside, he's the one. Hurry, please, catch him before he gets away. Gotcha. I'll be right back before you know it. Are we actually going to chase him? I'd like to, actually. I kind of like the Yakuza chases for some reason. Oh, we actually are! Wait a sec. Whoa! You little asshole, you don't die and dash! Either get the food or don't, dickhead! And you don't need violence! You're just throwing shit at me again, huh? When I get to you, you better not throw the hands! Out of the way! Now, oh, come on, people! Come back! You gonna throw something again? I knew it. Actually, no, there was a bike. I didn't see it. <laughs> Just come back here. Whoa! How much longer do you attend on running? Whoa! Oh no. Wait a sec. I swear Yagami's slipping into his Japanese voice when he, like, dodges. You're not getting away from me! Gotcha. That's as far as you go, buddy. Just settle down and we won't have to do this the hard way. I'm fucked! Hello? Hello? Officer? Yeah, we got an issue here. <laughs> Excellent work, yagami son. You really helped me out of the blind. Hey, no problem. Sometimes I have trouble speaking when I panic. I'm glad you bothered to understand me when no one else would. It wasn't a bother at all. Even if your words didn't reach me intentionally, your feelings sure did. <laughs> Nagami san, you rock. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you. It might not be much, but it's useful at a glance. Take a look. What is it? I found it at a used bookstore. I thought it was pretty interesting. Hmm? The art of gluttony. What is this? It wasn't too helpful in the end, but at least I got a kick out of it. I see. I appreciate the gesture. Bottomless stomach. Hmm. That's probably gonna be useful. Thanks again. Oh, and don't forget to come by. Back for our delicious beef bowls. Whatever's still the best in town. I'll be back for sure. So does that mean I can eat forever now without worrying about health? I would so love that skill. 
five thousand. Well, I'm saving up for that because then I can eat whenever I want, do these quests whenever I want, and I don't need to have low health. That's a very important skill for completion, to be honest. Especially for quests. But, oh, wait a minute. If I really think about it. If I really think about it, as long as I'm low health, it's not that much of a problem. Because I only need to, like, order one thing from people. And, you, and if I do want to, well, no, because that's if I want to complete the completion of all these stores. I need bottomless stomach, because it's going to take a long time. And I can't just keep purposely getting my ass handed to me the whole game. Alright, give me, uh, give me that iced tea. Back to it. I'm trying to read it. Apart the interruption, sir. May I have a moment of your time? Uh, sure. Great. My name is Yoshidi Furio, and I'm the event planner for Wate Kitchen, a local burger shop. I'd like to get more acquainted with our customers' base and see how they perceive our restaurant. So he wants to interview me about the restaurant. Should I go through with it? Furio. Let me find this guy's name. There he is. I can chat for a bit. Thank you. So, what do you want to ask me about? Well, you see, our corporate officer is office is asking us to come up with a new collaboration campaign for our, each of our stores. Uh, but to put it plainly to you, I'm terrible at thinking up new ideas. That's why I decided to take a chance and leave it up to our customers. That is a bold move. If your suggestion does get used, I'll make sure to give you some of the compensation as well. But I've rambled on enough, haven't I? Please, let us know what kind of store you'd like to see us cooperate with. Getting the chance to influence a local fast food chain is pretty rare. And um, what would mesh well with Wanty Kitchen? Oh, fast food joint. Why not another fast food place? That's a possibility. Though, wouldn't that essentially be pushing for more of the same thing? Well, don't you think it'd be awesome if two rival restaurants ended up working together? But, is such a thing even possible? It's practically unheard of in the industry. That being said, Perhaps it's all the more worth a try. Right. In that case, I'll propose this campaign to the corporate right away. I would like to give you a little something in case your idea is used. May I have your name? Yes. Otaka Yuki Yagami. Let me know what happens, yeah? You bet I will. And when I hear the good news, I'll contact you right away. It really would be cool to see what two fast food giants have come up with. Hope it turns out well. Run around for a minute. Alright, far enough. Do I have to order again or talk to I think I talked to him. Do I? Or do I eat again and talk to him? Yes, I must eat. Let me eat again and talk to him. Or I probably didn't go far Back enough. Oh, there we go. Yagami-san, you're right on time. And you're Furuyu-san from Mata Kitchen, right? Yes, I wanted to thank you for your participation earlier. So I submitted your idea to corporate, and they were so impressed they greenlit it right away. Wow, they're really going through with it. Yes, except for one problem. They can't decide on which store to work with. After all, we're basically asking our rivals to cooperate with us. Not many stores are open to that idea. Yeah, I can imagine it'd be easy. What to do? 
Maybe I should be on the lookout for that kind of restaurant that he needs. That should help him out plenty. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Which points? Yeah, that would do, I think. Looks like I gotta work with this guy to do it. He's thanking me from all the way up here. Excuse me, but uh, may I have a moment of your time? Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. Okay, I'm uh. Uh, take your, you know, the manager of Walt Jackson, in which you've just eaten. Look, I'm in a terrible bind here. If you would be so kind as to share your thoughts on how to improve our restaurant, I would be forever in your debt. Okay, so you're doing the same thing. I need to find the option for you. Okay. Hmm. This guy looks like he's about to have a meltdown. Maybe talking to him will help calm him down. I guess I could share a few thoughts. Oh, you're a godsend. So, what advice can you give me? You're looking to make it better. I mean, I already enjoy the food. Are you not making enough profit or something? Hi. Yes. Lately we've been hit hard by our rival Wati Kitchen. Our profits have been tanking. With sales as low as these, corporate's been dangling the idea of termination over my head unless I turn things around. Ouch. I had no idea things were that bad. I guess you didn't need to hear all that. Sorry to trouble you. Well, now I understand why you're so worried. Anyway, is there anything in particular you wanted feedback on? Ah, yes. I was hoping to present some potential improvements to our store, and possibly the rest of the chain. Uh, tell me, is there anything about Wild Jackson that strikes you as mediocre, or perhaps even unappealing? Hmm. Hmm. It's pretty tough to say. I can't really think of anything specific. Maybe you should ask a customer who hasn't been here in a while. Someone who doesn't eat here anymore. That would be ideal. But how would I even begin to looking for someone like that? Come to think of it, I remember seeing something about Wild Jackson while scrolling through Chatterbox a while, Chatter a while back. I imagine if there were any complaints online, they'd be on the special media. It's special, social. Maybe we can use those as clues and turn this place around. Besides, I already have a lead, so I may as well lend a hand. Seems like this guy's got pretty rough as it is. Excuse me. I have an idea, you know, son. One of my friends is very really good at finding things on social media. Why don't we start there? Yeah. Huh? You're really gonna help me out? Yeah. If there's any more information I need finding, and sir, Skuma should be at Montai as usual. I'll have him check out Wild Jackson's reputation. Okay, so I need to go to Montai. Crap, don't forget where Montai is. What's up here? I do need my health lowered a little bit, so... Come on, guys, let's do it. I can really pick up the can he just drank from, and now it's gone. Ow! Speak English. Ow. You guys are seriously useless. Ow. Come on, guys. Harder than that. Oh, there he goes, he's hugging me. The hardest move of all. Alright, that's enough. Time to die, gentlemen. 
Stop drinking them sodas. The boys are coming. We gotta end this fast, buddy. Oh my god. The way we slammed him up against the wall like that. Hey, Skuma, do you have a sec? What do you need, Yagamishi? I'm helping out this guy who needs some research. Can you do your thing? Leave it to me. You mean the chatter search? Sure. What do you need me to look up? I need to figure out what people have been saying about the Wild Jackson recently. We went with the post to within this past month. Okay. No problem. I'll push it to your. Mm. This is a lot of hits. Anything we use to narrow this down? Pigeon poop. Why would you call yourself that? Yeah, you need to find out why Wild Jackson's sales have been going down. I should use more specific keywords. Something logical that would bring up the most relevant posts. Let's see here. Taste like ass. Can you put in specials?